Welcome to another edition of Clock right here on Shaw TV. Inside the sealed envelope is our next puzzle, Quest, Riddle, uh, written by our very own Kate Bergen. We have no idea what it is, but once we open it and read it, we have 60 minutes real time to solve it. And I just hope this time, Derek, we don't get lost in the woods with a stranger tour guide. And now we're lost in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Kate. <laughs> that was a good adventure. It was a great adventure. We lost a little bit and we failed our quest, but this time it's a chance to redeem ourselves, Derek. And here we go, our next clue. When it comes to performing on stage, there are all kinds of superstitions. We say break a leg, for example, instead of good luck. Peacock feathers are bad luck, and flowers come after a performance, not before. And don't even think about practicing your bows until you know that they're well deserved. There is evidence of a good luck tradition right here in Nanaimo, and despite the best efforts of the staff at this particular venue, that evidence has been there for more than 10 years. Show us what that tradition is. So she's talking a lot about stage to kick it off. She is talking about stage. It's something where there's staff around, so it's some kind of business, possibly. Mm. So something good luck that's unique to us. So she's talking a lot about stage, but is that relevant or is it just a setup? I have no idea, but all I do know is we have 60 minutes starting now. Look at me, I'm a clock. I need some help, sir. We're trying to find something in Nanaimo. We're trying to find evidence of a good luck tradition here in Nanaimo that's there that we can look at and see. Any ideas? Nope. None. Not a one. Uh, I don't know. Crabbing, maybe? <laughs> Crabbing? Is that good luck? Yeah. Are you from here? Oh, no. so you guys aren't from Nanaimo at all? Uh uh. I have no idea. I never heard of it. You never heard of this either, right? Nope. So you guys can't really show us what any Nanaimo traditions can No, you? I'm sorry. No. Oh. Even a guess? Not a one. So I'm glad I spent 30 seconds talking to you guys then <laughs> because I that's just gone. I can't get that back, guys. Kate said this is easier. I don't know how this is easier than getting lost in the woods. Anybody? <laughs> that's it, Derek. I think we're going to die. Okay, now we're lost anyway. <laughs> lost and confused. Despite the best efforts of staff at this particular venue, that evidence has been there for more than 10 years. Is that saying the staff is trying to hide this good luck thing? I don't know what it's trying to say. It, what do you think? It might be. Um, well, let's let's think about some good luck things. I mean, good luck, you got horseshoes. Horseshoes? I mean, what's in Lucky Charm cereal you got? Pink hearts, yellow moons, orange stars, green clovers, and blue diamonds. You don't bow, break a leg, peacock feathers are bad luck. I, I'm thinking it has something to do with the stage. That's all idioms. Yeah, it's all idioms. Yeah. Yes. Not yeah. idiots. I'm a guy. I'm no, a, no, idioms. idioms. <laughs> okay. Not idiots, idioms. What are idioms? Huh? What are idioms? It's fun fact time. An idiom is a set expression of two or more words that mean something other than the literal meanings of its individual words. For example, break a leg. Are we sure that the theater talk isn't just a mislead? You know, I'm not sure of anything. I'm not sure of anything at all right now. All I'm sure of is we have 49 minutes to fail this mission. That's all I know. I have no idea. I think the half, the glass is half full. You think we have half? 49 minutes to succeed here. Let's do it. All right, let's do it. Let's go. Port Theater, that's our destination right now. Port Theater. Find out. Maybe. The final maybe. This is a shot in the dark, buddy. Shot in the dark. And there's a couple theaters to choose from. If the port's not the right one. The port Theater's the closest one, so. Hopefully we're lucky and um, that's the one. Is there anything good luck, like a symbol or an act or a ritual that's involved with the Port Theater or anywhere in Nanaimo? Can't come up with anything, I'm sorry. No tradition, eh? No. Oh, okay. Are hey. you getting concerned? Uh, you're getting concerned? I am super concerned. <sighs> so I want to ask more theater people. Administration office is right over here. Okay. I'm pretty sure somebody should be able to help us direct us in the right direction here for this event, I think. I hope. Theater people are a weird bunch, you know? They are, I, I hear they are. There's a whole bunch of superstitions that come with it. Um, you might know something. Okay, well, we'll follow you then. Yeah, come on back with me. All right, let's follow them. There is a part in our hallway here that has some kind of markings on it that dancers leave here every year. I don't know what if it's kind, a, well, kind of marker? well, let's go and find out. Oh. So this is what we're looking at. Wow. Is, uh, yeah, I know, lipstick kisses all over the place. So this is something to do before or after the presentation? I'm not sure. And you think they did this for good luck? Uh, something. Do you know roughly when this started? Nope, but I think it's been going on for a while. Does this upset you guys? Doesn't it 
upset us that much, I guess. No, obviously not. Do you try and clean it up? Trying to clean it up. You guys try and clean up, you said, right? Mm hmm. That was more up here. Look at this. So Derek says, do not use this door. But it doesn't say anything, but do not kiss this door. Because obviously, people are kissing everything. You know, I think this might be it. I think this is it. We should call Kate. What time is it? <phone rings> Calling Kate Birkin says. Hello? It's kissing on the wall. Yes, you're right. So we are right. Winners. There we have it. The tradition here is in the Fort Theater. Dance groups come in, and I guess before they go on stage, or after they go on stage, they kiss the concrete wall and these covered pipes. I personally find it disgusting. I would never kiss a wall, ever. So that's not how you want to close the show? With a kiss? <laughs> you tell me I should kiss this wall? Yeah, you need some lipstick though. Woohoo! <laughs> that is disgusting. <laughs> Look at me, I'm a clock.